Today we have another epic box from Kaz. What's up guys, we're back with another epic opening from Kaz. Kaz has sent us a couple of boxes in the future, both videos we pulled insane. So go check those out if you guys have not seen those before. We pulled like Champion Pack Lumina, we pulled like Ghost Rares, like we've had some insane luck when he sent us stuff to open for him, and he sent us some more really cool stuff. We have a note. The Forbidden and the Haunted. Hey Ruxin, congrats on 150k and thanks for opening my boxes. It's always a pleasure to send them over because they always come back with a lot of epic pulls. Hopefully we can live up to that. I hope you'll enjoy this one as well. Inside to find two sets. Your missions, should you choose to accept them, are the following. Pull the Forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh card, Air Neos, and or Pull the Haunted Blue Eyes White Dragon. So we're going to try to pull those. Good luck and happy pulling Instagram at Kaz S underscore Diary. So he's got his Instagram on there. Go give him a follow. Make sure to thank him for sending these in. We are trying to pull the Forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh card and the Ghost Rare. Before we hop into it, we have one to keep and one to give away. Let's see what it is. This seems to be a shirt. All right. So a uh, shirt here. We have a... Oh, Strike of Neos. There we go. We got Strike of Neos. That's an old shirt from 2007. So we got a Strike of Neo shirt. That's some pretty cool merch. See if it's my size. If I want to keep it to medium, probably can't wear that. Might be giving that one away. And then we have something inside of here. All right, what is inside? We have a, oh, this looks like a nice card. This is an OCG card, it appears to be. I mean, he is from Japan, so let's see. Oh, check this out. It just slid away. Ghost Rare. Blue Eyes, Chaos, Max Dragon. Not gonna lie, I would prefer this, but I think you guys would prefer it too. Dragon Neo shirt is really cool. I really wish I could wear it, but uh, I think that we're gonna give this one away. Also, it's a little easier for me to ship, so I think I, this is probably the ideal giveaway. He did give me two Ghost Rares last time, which was really cool. As much as I want this, I'm gonna let you guys win this one. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let Kaz know how much you appreciate him sending these in because Kaz is an absolute legend. I'm excited to hopefully pull him the Forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh card. And I almost forgot before we got into it, he said that he is starting up his own YouTube channel, which with the products he's had, it's gotta be awesome. So go check it out. I'm gonna have it linked in the description. I don't actually know the name of it. He just said, I'm gonna send you the link when you do the video. So the link will be down below. Go check him out. He's been awesome for our channel and he sent us a lot of really cool stuff. And he's actually selling me some really cool product that you might see in the future. So make sure to go thank him there as well. All right, here it is. The Gold Series Haunted Mind. So we're not doing Ghosts from the Past 2. We are doing Gold Series Haunted Mind, which he might have actually said, and I forgot already. But this is a really fun set to open, so I'm really excited about it. I think he sent one or two of these last time. I don't remember if we got the Ghost Rare. I don't think we did. We got a Ghost Rare, but it wasn't that one. And then we have the Samurai Soul, which I have opened a couple of times. This is one of the most fun products to open in all of Yu-Gi-Oh! It has really good variety in the packs that are in here. So let's hop into it and open some special editions. All right, we have removed our Elder of the Six Samurai, which is not mine, by the way. These are all Kaz's cards, but we have gotten all the packs out. We don't have the Gold Series out because it just looks too cool. We got to do those one at a time, but let's get into this opening. It's going to be insane. All right, so the Forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh! card is we have 10 of the packs in here for the Strike and the S. We also have the potential at the Odin, which you guys remember we have opened many times for the Odin. I don't I think it's three from the back. I just did four. Let's see, Barrier Resonator. Let's see if I was right about that. CN Squire, Tyrant's Tirade, Watt Mole. Yeah, I think it's three from the back on those. Then we have a Crimson Crisis. This is the only Ghost Rare, I think, well, from the two packs that have Ghost Rares in this that we haven't pulled, because we did finally pull the Olden. Olden? Olden Odin? Yeah, I mean, he's kind of old. He has a beard. But the Odin, we finally pulled the Ghost Rare of that. Uh, I Was it first dead? I think it was, actually. So it's been, a, it's been a long time coming, but we have still not pulled this Crimson Crisis one, the Red Dragon Archfiend Assault Mode. We pulled the Red Dragon Archfiend Ghost in the past too, though. Very cool. We have the Mysterious Triangle. Let's see if we can pull that for Kaz. Not one of the goals, but I'm sure he would appreciate it. Spell Reactor, Re. We've got the Morphtronic Force Field. Maiku, the Magical Mist. This is like a classic card with the Summon Skull. Select one Summon Skull or Thunder Monster you control. Summon Skull or a Thunder Monster. Destroy all monster your opponent controls whose defense is lower than the attack of the selected monster. Such a random like DM card that they put in here. They did that a lot for some reason when like crimson crisis in the 5ds era they did a lot of random old school old school stuff like chimera the mythical or the uh what is it called chimera the mythical something it's like gazelle the king of mythical beast and then it makes chimera here's the uh strike of neos let's see if we can pull the forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh card we have 10 packs to do it i guess it's th is, it might be four actually i'm not really sure we have the alien psychic we have never pulled the air neos aka the forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh card we have the ultra rare or the ultra rare we could pull here both insanely valuable even unlimited because people think it's never going to get reprinted, which is interesting. Puppet Plant, Kaki Gorilla, Dark World, Flashbang, Legendary Ebon Seed, Marionette Might, Twister, 
and Swift Samurai Storm. I don't remember, I think you do get a rare and a foil in this because it was printed later, even though Strike of Neos originally you didn't. All right, our first Gold Series Haunted Mine, 25 cards per pack. We opened Gold Series, the original the other day with Simo, which was really fun. There was a very similar like style pack, 25 cards per pack, and then you get like three gold rares. In this, you get 25 cards a pack, two gold rares, and a ghost rare. So guaranteed ghost rare, the only time they've ever done that, so. Pretty good. If we can get the Ghost Rare Blue Eyes, we will achieve one of the two goals. I think that's probably the easier one because there's less Ghost Rares in this than there are like, you know, Strike of Neos. There's a lot of different ones we could pull. Let's go. Regenerating Mummy. I wonder if these are the same, like in order, like the original Gold Series. Zombie Master, Copy Knight, Pyramid Turtle, Goblin Zombie. We got a Ruxin Special with a Gorg. Dawn of the Herald. We got Fear from the Dark. Tiki Curse. <laughs> All right, that snuck up on me. I thought it was going to be way back there. The Blue Eyes White Dragon. First pack. We pull the Blue Eyes. Let's check the condition. Is that a little damage right there? I can't tell. Maybe that's supposed to be in the artwork. Anybody see any print lines? Yeah, I see one right there. My fingers are all still messed up from the live stream the other day, doing eight hours. But, uh, wow. I think that was technically yesterday when I'm recording this. But this is actually a pretty clean one, but it's really easy to miss these print lines. There's a little dot right there. There's always something going on with these foils. Uh, that's still an amazing pull, though, and it looks amazing in the lighting. The Gold Series Haunted Mine, while they didn't have great quality control, they had amazing foiling, which I think they need to bring back the old style foiling because it just looks better than the current. The current is so grayed out. I don't know why that happened, but it's very grayed out. So I'm hoping that they can upgrade it for Ghost of the Past 3, which they haven't announced, but I'm assuming it's coming, right? It's been so popular. Hopefully they will. Blue Eyes White Dragon. Very nice. Already completed goal number one. All right, then we have Naturia Beast, Call of the Haunted. Those are nice gold rares, and then we got some. Zoma of the Spirit was crazy in, uh, in Speed Duel. I was about to say Master Duel, Duel Links. It's neither of those, but Book of Life is also a good card in here. Ryu Koki, of course. I was searching for those. There's just a lot of really good cards in this set. All right, well, that is a heck of a start right there. We have already pulled the Blue Eyes White Dragon. I thought it was going to be toward the end. I remembered it was in a different spot for the EU. I think this is EU. Maybe it's not. Okay, maybe it was EU was a different spot. I don't, I don't know. I didn't know where it was. That basically is the story of the matter. She and Squire, we got the uh, Levatian, the Relic Gunganir, and a Needle Ball. We got the Ball of Needles. Very cool. Crimson Crisis. We've already pulled one Ghost Rare. Who's going to stop us from pulling another one? I don't know. Let's do it. Let's pull Red Dragon Archfiend, Hydra Viper, Psychic Sword, the Trap Eater, Morphtronic Map, Blackwing Boar of the Spear, the original print. This just got reprinted in the last set, Battles of Legend, Crystal Revenge. Still need that left arm of the Forbidden One. Flip Flop Frog, the Ivy Shackles, Alien Overlord, and Trojan Gladiator Beast. Very nice. All right, Forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh card, round two. We've opened, at this point, a decent amount of Strike of Neo. Still not a lot compared to a lot of the sets I've opened, but we've opened a decent amount. We've still not even sniffed even the Ultra Rare. Let's see if we can do it. Castle of Mist, Sage of Stillness, Glow Moss, Synthesis Spell, the Xian's Foot Soldier, Six Samurai Yoriza, Ritual Sealing, Neo's Force and the Nasashi. So we still don't know for sure if we get a foil on a rare. I'm pretty sure we do. We're just going to have to keep, keep going and like hope that we run into one eventually. All right. Also, and speaking of the Gold Series Haunted Mine, I think you can get double blue eyes in a box. Even triple, because you remember we got three Gores in one box a long time ago. It was like the 6K special. So that would be pretty crazy. I'd be down for that. Zero Force, the Jet Eclipse, you get the Garmer. We got the token Sunday, Blackwing Bristow, the Tailwind, Hope for Escape, and we have a Maggio Shalon. I don't know what that is. All right, cool, but that is uh, not a lot of foils. The only foil we've really pulled is the Blue Eyes, and that's guaranteed. I guess technically the Gold Rares as well, but all those are guaranteed. Let's see if we can pull something big. Duke Frog, Descending Lost Star, Vengeful Servant, Cross Sword Beetle, Raptor Wing Strike. We got a Flip Flop and the Frog. Ivy Shackles. Sold armor, and here we go. Is it next? I sold overload. We're gonna have to pull a foil to know where this stuff is because right now, still haven't pulled it. Strike of Neos pack number three. We get 10 total packs today. Man, can we pull that forbidden Yu Gi Oh card for the first time on the channel? Let's do it. We have Strike of Neos, we have the Emblem of the Awakening. Come on, <laughs> come on, let's get it. Come on, we got A Cell Scatterburst, the Zanji, Advanced Ritual Art. Kaki, Gorilla of Dark World, Ritual Ceiling, Sage of Silence, and we have a Silent Abyss. Is that's not a foil, it's just a common. Oh, are we like 0 for 9 right now? Not good. All right, Gold Series Haunted Mine, Numero Dos. Let's see what we can pull. Will we pull another Ghost, Blue Eyes, White Dragon? Let me know in the comments. Here we go. Come on. 
Come on. Oh, man. Gold Series Haunted Mine. We got to be careful. So we know it's toward the beginning this time. Maybe we should do a little... I mean, it's the commons. We know in Gold Series it's a little crazy. So let's not do any pack trick. Let's just go straight through it. Call the mummy. This is for Kaz. Let's get him the three blue eyes ghost rares. Just like Kaiba. Here we go. Vampire Lady. Hidden Spell Book. That's actually, I think, a couple bucks. Copy Knight. Embodiment of Apophis. We've got a little... Uh, What's his name? I forgot his name. I need to rewatch Yu-Gi-Oh! Dual Monsters. What's Odeon? There we go. Mustering of the Dark Scorpions. Very nice. Don Zelug, a very cool card. Actually uh, worth a little bit as well. Bone Crusher, because Don Zelug doesn't have a lot of prints. Regenerating Mummy. I think it's coming up soon. Red Ogre. All right, cool, cool. Oh, here. Yeah, it's next. Oh, no, it's a Synchro. <laughs> Naturia Barkeon. All right. It's, it's got a little bit of the error where it's coming off on the edge. Did this one have that? I don't think it did. So we got a little bit of an error going there. Formula Synchron up next is pretty nice. Check the foil on this thing. Appears to be pretty nice. I'm sure I'm missing something, but seem to be pretty clean. But every time I think that with this set, I then grade them and they get eights. And then I get them back. I'm like, ah, oh, there they are. There are the print lines. All right. But still, beautiful looking card. The foiling on in this set is just so good. And then we have a Formula Synchron and a Cephal Cephalon. Cephalon, the ultimate Time Lord. That is not how you say that, but... That's how I said it. Then we've got a Cliff the Trap Remover. This guy's actually kind of hard to find. He's like not in a lot of sets. I think it's maybe MFC or something like that. No, maybe it was IOC. I can't remember. But he's a pretty difficult card to find. And he's like used in some sideboards in Go format. So actually a pretty decent card. Right, Koki? So it feels like we are getting similar comments here. Probably in the same way the original Gold Series was. All right, Storm of Ragnarok. Here we go. Let's get Kaz something amazing. Here we go. I believe. Ghost Rare. Here it comes. The... Joss laugh with a silent L. I don't know. Odeon's eye. No, Odin's eye. Hourglass of Courage. There it is. The Karkari Ninja. Token Sunday. Watmole. Doppel Warrior. And. Oh, we got an Ultra. Karkari Muso. MDL 818. Hypa. I don't, I don't know. I feel like I'm saying these wrong every time. Because they have crazy long names like you know, shortened abbreviations with like numbers in them. Like, how am I supposed to understand that? I don't know. You basically have to use a nickname for those because it's insane. Back to Crimson Crisis. We finally did pull a foil out of the host. That's amazing. It took that long. 10 packs. Trojan Gladiator Beast. You know what we say about these big special editions. They're fun because of the randomness of the foils. You can get a lot. You can get a little. We're getting a little right now. All right. Dark Tanker. He's tinkering. In Indomitable Gladiator Beast. Gladiator Beast. Nightwing Sorceress. I can't speak. Half or nothing. Blackwing Boar the Spear. Telekinetic Power Well. The Flying Fortress, Skyfire, and a... A Soul Mercenary. He's assaulting. Now it's time for the Neos of Striking. Let's go. Forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh card. Bless us with thy presence. Here we go. Sheehan's Castle of Mist. Grin, Tactician of Dark World. Chushalain the Awakened. Umbral Soul. Change of Hero, Reflector Ray. Marionette Might. Lycanthrope. Fusion Devourer. We still have not pulled foil out of here. I assume it would be next. Oh, a Neospatian Air Hummingbird. Last time we opened the set, we pulled two of these. We keep pulling the Air Hummingbird. You can really tell the difference out of the Special Edition with the two-strike of Neos versus the Samurai Assault Special Edition. You can see the print difference. This one's way lighter. So we finally did get one, which is pretty cool. But Neospatian Air Hummingbird, it seems to be glued to our, to our openings. We always seem to pull them. Let's see if we can pull a Ghost or Odin now or something really cool like a Max C Secret Rare. Shanae. Cyber Shield, Shein Scheme, Blackwing Bristol, the Tailwind, Garmer, Token Sunday, Stardust Phantom, and we have a Blackwing Kalima, the Haze. All right, Crimson Crisis time. Here we go. You gotta believe in the heart of the cards. The heart of the cards. Here we go. Desert Protector from Star Wars, Morphtronic Rusty Engine, Trap Reactor Y5, got some Wi Fi, Regeneration, Prevention Star, Assault Slash, Assault Teleport, Arcane Barrier, and we have a Seed Cannon Common. Back to the Forbidden Yu Gi Oh! card. Let's do this. Will we pull it? Strike of Neos. It is about time you give us something amazing. Chuch Land the Awakened. Iru, I take Grandmaster Seeker as well. We never pull Seekers out of this set. Shin's Foot Soldier, Flashbang, Umbral Soul, Synthesis Spell. We now know it is after this rare Twister, and we have a... Here's a Seeker rare! <laughs> I asked and I got one. Freya, Spirit of Victory. I don't think this is the one we were looking for, but I said we never get Seeker rares. And then this is where they have the weird Seeker rare pattern. It's like where there's like really heavy lines in like three spots, and then the rest just kind of has light lines. 
Very interesting Seeker rare pattern. Freya, Spirit of Victory. Very cool. Here we go. Gold Series Haunted in mine. Will we get another Blue Eyes, White Dragon, Solemn Judgment, MST? Those would be good as well. Let's see if we can get those. Bless us with amazing pulls. So far, already pulled the Blue Eyes, which has been amazing. Now we just need the Forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh card. But I think two Blue Eyes is better than one. I don't know. That's what I've always heard. That's that's the telltale around, uh, you know, around me. We've got the Embodiment of Apophis. Here we go. Regenerating Mummy. Mustering of Dark Scorpions. Goblin Zombie. Pretty cool card, actually, for some... Uh, Goblin decks in, not a goblin, zombie decks in Edison. Don's Lug, Copy Knight, Bone Crusher. We got a Ruxin special. Dawn of the Herald, Dark Scorpion, Gorg the Strong, the Strong. We got a Zombie Master. That was the Ghost Rare. It's it's a double. The Cherry of Barkeon. All right, it's a double. It's not, definitely not. We wanted a double, but this is definitely not the double we're looking for. Naturia Barkeon. Unfortunate, but when we've already pulled the blue eyes, you can't really complain. Naturia Barkeon. It does have a great look to it, though. Really good colors. So, beautiful card there. Then our gold rares are Master Hyperion, and Dark Hole is pretty cool. Then we've got ourselves Patrician of Darkness, Zoma, Mimic, Gurnia, Raikoki, Lady in White. It's definitely giving us the same cards. All right, not bad, not bad. We'll take it. Unfortunately, a double on the wrong one, but we will also take that. No big deal. Here we go, Storm of Ragnarok. Bless us. Divine Wind, Needle Ball, Token Stampede, Solemn Authority, Tiki Soul, Got a Demarung, Terminal World, Musangkani, Musakani, Magatama, and... DD Sprite, we have a super rare, and it's that Sprite Cranberry. There we go. The answer is clear. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Next up, Crimson Crisis. Here we go. Will we pull a Ghost Rare? Let's do this. Six Scroll the Samurai. Mix up. We mixed up because we got the wrong secret rares. Mercenary. Revival. Reactor SK. Nutrient. Morphtronic Slingon. Wall of Thorns. And multiply this is a pretty cool super rare see it's another old school card they printed at crimson crisis for some reason they print a bunch of old cards multiply is one of them but it's such a cool iconic karibo card that it's i think worth a couple bucks because people actually want it because it's just iconic all right strike and eos pretty cool super rares we pulled there we're getting a little bit hotter here we're picking it up now it's time for the forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh card I feel like we haven't pulled a lot of ultis out of this set either. I said secrets last time we got a secret. That's what I'm trying again this time. Grin Tactician, Radiant Spirit, Return of the Six Samurai, Electric Virus, Change of Hero Reflector Ray, Prominence, Lycanthrope, Neospatian Grand Will. That'd be such a cool ultimate. Why can't that be it? And... Raging Earth. Okay, so Grand Mole, DD Crow are both in this set. Those are huge pulls besides the Forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh cards, so... If we were able to get those, it would be crazy, so it would be nice if we could do them. Back to Storm of Ragnarok, we have Nordic Relic, Scrap Shark, Gold Dust, it's Dust and Gold, Taraj, we got the Squire, we got Amarung, the Mimir, Sien Smoke Signal, a very good card, and we have... <gasps> Another Ghost Rare Odin! No way! Let's go! We searched for so long, and then we pulled it again! Unbelievable! Odin, father of the Acer. I never noticed that the name is actually in the Ghost Rare foiling. That is super cool. Are they all like that in Ghost Rares? We can compare it to some of our other Ghost Rares. That is beautiful. Let's look at the. Let's look at these. No, see, this is gold. That's gold ghost. That's why. So it's a little different. But wow, that is amazing. Oh my goodness, what a pull, Kaz. I don't know how I never let you down, but I somehow never let you down. Another Ghost Rare. Unbelievable pulls. Oh my goodness. We now have an additional Ghost Rare. So if we do get the Forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh card, this is a top video. Like this is great. For some reason when I open for other people, I don't know why. It just goes crazy. Remember the Stardust Collector? We also pulled like, the Ghost Rare Odin, I think, at the same time. Trap Reactor Wi-Fi has been crazy. Triangle, Ebon Arrow, Morphtronic Map, Spell Reactor. Uh, we got a Ghost Rare. I was asking for the Crimson Crisis one. We got the Odin, but let's just get both. Why not? Nightmare Archfiends. Debris Dragon. Very good card in here. And then a... Oh, a Doom Kaiser Dragon Assault Mode. Very cool. So this is not the uh, Synchro that people use in Edison. This is the Assault Mode version. I don't know if anybody uses this, but Ultra Rare. Very cool. The artwork on that is super nice. Let's go to Strike of Neos. It's all up to you, Strike of Neos. Can you pull the Forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh card? DD Crow. Um, what was the other one I said? Grand Mole. I mean, those are all amazing. Alien Psychic. Nasashi. Radiant Spirit. Come on. Yaichi. 
Destruction Cyclone, Synthesis Spell, Electric Virus, Spiral Serpent, come on. Let's go, big card out of Strike and Eos, let's go. It's an ultimate rare, it's a card trader, all right. This is an iconic Duel Links card because this guy is literally part of the game where you go get your, you know, trade in your cards, but very strange looking ultimate rare pattern, but hey, ultimate rare it is. We'll take it. That's very nice. Okay, this has been a nutty opening. Now all we need is like the Forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh card. We get another blue eyes, something like that. Just something crazy. Pack number four, Gold Series on and Mind Cast. This has been a very fun opening. Hope you're enjoying it so far because, uh, well, I think you're, I think you're enjoying it. <laughs> okay, I don't even need to hope. I think you're enjoying it. All right, here we go. Next pack. It's gonna be a blue eyes. Let's go. Red eyes. I take Solemn Judgment MST as well. Call the Mummy, Vampire Lady, Hidden Spellbook, Copy Knight, Embodiment of Apophis. Mustering of the Dark Scorpions, Don Zalug, Bone Crusher, Regenerating Mummy, it might be next. It is next. It looks like MST. No, it's not MST. It's Herald of Perfection. Oh, okay, okay. We're getting the bad ones, but we did get the gold blue eyes. Gold ghost, I guess. So we can't complain too much. These all seem to be in pretty nice condition in terms of foiling. There's a couple of spots on there, but pretty nice overall. These are really nice. Ghost rares, not the ones we're really looking for, but we already got the one, so we can't really complain. Then we got a Grapha and a Cephalon again. Then a Dark Scorpion. Check the yellow. Mene the Thorn, Despair, Hell Palmer, Cliff the Trap Remover again, Zoma, and Machine King 3000 BC. We are down to probably 10 packs, including the Ghost, you know, the Ghost Gold series on a mine, whatever it's called. All right, Odin, uh, what I say about those special editions, guys, they're crazy. We could pull two ghosts, technically. I think that is possible. Vylon Matter, Tiki Soul, Shien Scheme, that'd be insane. Bloodsucker, Misa, Musakani, Magatama, and a Symphonic Warrior bases. Very nice. We've got some bases going on. Super rare, very beautiful. Let's go on to the Crimson Crisis. All we need is a ghost rare red eyes well, no not red eyes red dragon arch venus soul mode mysterious triangle trojan gladiator beast hydra viper assault slosh summon reactor sk verdant sanctuary there we go searching for that uh, field spell we got the uh, prevention star alien ammonite and we have a scanner we will be scanning the cards it's a super rare so the foils are going crazy right now we have a lot now we have pulled quite a few. All right, Strike and Neos, come on, baby. This is your time. We did pull an ultimate rare last time, so I, we can't complain like we have, haven't pulled anything. We pulled a secret and an ultimate out of here. We just need the ultra, the right ultra. Chuchulain the Awakened, Silent Abyss, Swift Samurai Storm, Yariza, Ritual Ceiling, Electric Virus, Changing Fury Reflector Ray, Pulling the Rug, actually a great card in Edison for all the Monarchs and stuff, and... Grin, Tactician of Dark World. That's our first dud in a while, actually. Two sets of each left. Here we go. Let's pull something big. I mean, we already pulled the Odin. Let's get a Maxi. Why not? Tiki Curse, Sazen, Divine Wind, Nordic Ascendant, Hourglass of Courage. The How do you say that? I don't know. Token Sunday. Oh, our Rux and Special, the first one. All right, first Rux and Special. But we've got the Zvaltolf, the Nordic Alphar. There's a super rare. So, uh... Okay, it's it's a foil. We'll take it. Crimson Crisis, it's your turn. For Kaz, you haven't done anything really, uh, Crimson Crisis. It's your turn to make Kaz happy. Psychic Sword, Trap Eater, eating those traps, fake explosion. You've been eaten by the Trap Eater. Revenge and Star, Assault Slash, Assault Teleport, Twin Sword Marauder, Shining Silver Force, and we have a Morphtronic Mix-Up. We're mixed up. That wasn't a foil. All right, Forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh card. Then we'll do our last gold series and finish it off with the final three packs. Forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh card. Uh, we did four by accident. That would, that would ruin it. Don't do that. Tushalane the Awaken. Sage of Stillness. Anti-Fusion Device. Destroy one face of Fusion Monster on the field. No fusions here. Like a throat. Abon Steed. We got the Zanji. Yariza. DD Crow, that would be such a nice ulti. Okay, DD Crow just got reprinted in the new one as well. And we have a Raging Earth. The Earth is raging. Final gold series on in mine. Let's pull something amazing. Will it be Blue Eyes, Solemn Judgment, or MST? That's what we want to pull right now. Tiki Curse, Curse in the Tiki. Fear from the Dark. Pyramid Turtle, so many good zombie cards. Hidden Spellbook, Call of the Mummy. Red Ogre, it's got to be coming up soon. Vampire Lord, Lady, sorry. Sorry, Lady. Uh, Mustering the Dark Scorpion. Bone Crusher, and Regenerating Mummy, it's got to be next. 
What will it be, guys? Put your guesses in the comments. Here we go. Oh, a mystical space typhoon with that shifted artwork. Very, very cool. Very nice. Looks pretty clean for the most part. Mystical space typhoon. Very, very awesome. That is a big one. So pretty good special edition with the gold rare. Gold, I keep saying gold rare. With the blue eyes white dragon ghost rare and the MST in there. I'm sure he'll take that. That's pretty good. And then we get the call of the haunted and the Brianic. Brianac, Brianic, whatever you want to call it. Very nice gold rare. I still don't know how you're supposed to say that. Really good cards. Very amazing. Hell Palmer and Zoma. We got a lot of the same commons. All right, three packs to go. How can we possibly top what we've done already? It has been difficult. Four ghost rares. No, six ghost rares pulled in this video. Five were guaranteed. One was not. So that made it pretty insane. Let's pull a maxi. We have Tiki Curse. Card Curry Watchdog. We got the Mist Valley. Cash Cash. Jet Eclipse. Gamer, Token Sunday, Legendary Six Samurai Kaigeki, and the Zvartal from the Nordic Alfair. We pulled that last time, so we got two of those. Very cool. All right, Crimson Crisis, your last chance, because Storm of Ragnarok and Strike and Eos both did really well. We pulled a lot of foils out of them. We did not pull, like, anything out of Crimson Crisis, so let's pull something here. B-List. Only thing we pulled was, like, the, the Multiply. Morphtronic Rusty Engine, Borden. Sanctuary, Prevention Star, Assault Teleport, Morphtronic Slingin, BES, Big Core, MK2, and we have a Dimension Fortress Weapon. Cards cannot be sent from the deck to the graveyard. Interesting. All right, that's an interesting card. It's a super rare. And finally, we end it with one more chance at the Forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh card from Strike of Neos. Believe that it can happen. Ultimate rare. Here we go. Neospatian Glow Moss. We got a Ruxin special. Come on. Nasashi. Ritual Art, Gorilla of Dark World from the Kaki. We've got the Ritual Ceiling, Yaichi, DD Crow again. That's pretty solid. Now, will it be an Ultimate DD Crow? Will it be an Ultimate Neospatian Grandma? Or will it be the Forbidden Yu Gi Oh card? Here we go. Swift Samurai Storm. So, we are not completing the goal of finding the Forbidden Yu Gi Oh card today, but we did complete our goal of finding the Ghost Rare Blue Eyes. We also pulled a bonus Ghost Rare. So, that was amazing. Cass, thanks again for sending these in to be open for an epic video. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content. Shout out to Toe Info Show, Daxter, Tomato Juice, JT Cho, TCG Trusted Cards, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Dizzy, Flexi Boy, Hoppus, Choice 333, Micycle, Melancholy, and then his high show, Christopher Ward, Ian Musa, John Nolan, Junior Barding, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Stanley, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.